Hey everybody, it's Austin here at Sky River RV. Today we're checking out the uh, Brinkley Model Z 2900. Got a lot of cool things I'm excited to show you in this. They're uh, new lines to our lot and they've got a lot of features, so let's get into it. See, first off, we've got the uh, MoRide Solid Step as, as well as the new safety rail from MoRide. Um, this one does come standard with a uh, keyless entry lock that is powered. If we take a look in this front compartment here, you'll notice we have this little controller here. It looks like it's for uh, a stereo of some sort. I was looking around, didn't see any speakers anywhere. Couldn't figure out where they were. Turned it on, connected my phone. All of a sudden the music starts popping out. The speakers are actually underneath the trailer on this one. Um, so that's really cool. It keeps the outside look nice and seamless and those are stereo or marine grade speakers so they're not going to be damaged by any water or anything like that. And these and these weren't just regular RV speakers that kind of don't sound very good. These were actually some, some really solid speakers. I was impressed. Brinkley's really gone out of their way to put the top of the line equipment in, into all of their units. Um, right here we've got a standard spray port. Um, I believe we've got one of these on each side as well as the satellite input and a couple other outlets. Um, if you take a look here, you'll notice this reinforced decking inside the compartment, and this is a uh, heated and insulated compartment. Um, we've got right there a uh, travel mode disconnect, just turns everything off except for your fridge and your jacks, uh, so you don't have to worry about your batteries going down, going dead down the road. And here we've got a uh, propane tank compartment, comes standard with a 30 gallon propane or 30 pound propane tank, but you do have room for a 40 if you want to upgrade. You can see we've got room for a generator. It is wired for a generator as well if you want to add one of those. Um, a 50 amp solar charge controller, most, most manufacturers only give you a 30, so that just means you can add extra panels. Right now it's got 340 watts of solar on there, but you can add up to 730. Um, you've got another storage mode disconnect that just disconnects everything in the trailer. And then here you've got easy access to your hydraulic pump as well if you need to do any maintenance on that. So coming around to the other side, we've got our other propane tank storage compartment. And then this cool split compartment right here to give you easy access to the convenience center. Right here we've got our Nautilus water control system. So all the different settings you need to adjust your water inflows depending on what you're looking for. Um, the other thing that I really like about these Brinkley's are these auto retract freshwater hoses. So you just pull it out. I think this is a 50 foot hose. Comes out plenty far. And then when you're done, let it flow back in. The other thing we've got here are our tank valves. Now, if you take a look here, you'll notice they're not your typical pull handle valve. These are electric tank valves. So all you have to do is click a button to open and close that. Um, and they've come with a five amp breaker underneath it in case anything gets flipped under there. You just flip the breaker and it'll power it right back up. Open up the other way, you can see we've got the controller for our leveling system. That's just your standard Lippert auto level system. One touch and you can level the entire unit. Um, as we come around, take a look at the windows on this slide room. Those are frameless windows and they do open quite nicely. They give the whole coach a really sleek look. I think these coaches look, look great. Not, not, much out, uh, not much else out there that looks like these. Now the back of the coach, instead of just being prepped like for a backup camera, like most of them, this one does actually come with the camera standard. Um, you get an extra storage compartment back here. I was, believe I was reading there's over 130 cubic feet of storage on this trailer, so plenty of room for all the goodies you need to bring with you. And then right below that we've got a uh, class 2 towing receiver can tow up to 3,000 pounds. Alrighty, let's come on inside. Oh, first thing I notice when I come inside this unit is just how clean it looks. Everything looks really good. No clunky valences clogging up the windows. Everything's nice and smooth. Really good surfaces. You'll see we've got marble countertops. Um, for me, the defining feature of this one though is this table, dinette, desk combo. Um, so right here you can see two chairs. So you have some extra people over what you do. As you can pull this out and extends, you can seat up to four people right there. And then, so you wanna turn it into a little breakfast nook. The other cool thing it does is this whole piece slides over. I mean, how about that? That's something I've never seen before in a trailer. Um, the other cool thing you'll notice, there's this little drawer right here that is prep for some cutlery there. So just kind of those extra little details, they kind of go the extra little mile, the extra mile. Um, see right here, we've got two power recliners, um, wireless charging, they are heated as well. Coming around the back, you can see we've got this nice sofa that is a trifold sofa, it turns into a bed. 
Um, we've got this little ottoman right here. Inside you've got some storage and then this also lifts up into sort of a little little table so you want to sit here and enjoy, enjoy a meal and, and watch TV. You can do that with this guy right here. Put that down. Another thing I'll point out, these little side tables, we've got some charging ports in the back as well as a nice big storage compartment right there. All right, as we come around here, you'll see you got plenty of counter space. Uh, you decide you want to watch TV, you just hit this little button right here. And we've got a 50 inch smart TV that pops right up out of the counter. Perfect. All righty. Getting past that, we come in here to the kitchen area. Um, they just think of everything in this coach. One thing that I've always complained about when I'm camping is they never give you anywhere to put your trash. Well, with Brinkley, they thought of that. So they gave you a double trash can that pulls out right there built in. And then on top of that, we've got another drawer and then a built-in paper towel holder. Um, and then this also comes out and can just sit on the counter too if you're uh, wanting it out there. Put that back in. Um, plenty of drawer space here. One thing I like to point out on these drawers is they are all solid wood. A lot of the other manufacturers will use like kind of some particle board that they slap together and put some tape over but Brinkley uses the real stuff um, and we've got a three burner stove with an oven uh, and above that we've got a uh, 30 inch residential microwave. Plenty of counter space here. We'll come over right here we've got a Furion 12 volt fridge. It's about 16 cubic feet and that is the 12 volt fridge so that does run off of the batteries. Um, Plenty of space for all your goodies in this unit. Right here we've got a great big pantry uh, with some adjustable shelving in there as well. Uh, you need to bring something that's a little taller, you can just move those shelves up and down as needed. One last thing I want to point out in here before we uh, head up into the bedroom and the bathroom is this little gadget right here. Bringing your pets along with you, you've got built-in food and water bowls. How cool is that? Coming into the bathroom, you'll notice we've got two doors, one from the bedroom and then one from the hallway. Um, this is a porcelain toilet in here as well. Um, so that means any household cleaners you can use on it, it's not gonna damage anything. We've got right here towel racks and a um, toilet paper holder. Plenty of space in this closet right here as well as the control for your tankless water heater. Coming into the shower here, we've got three shower heads and a removable sprayer. Um, as well as an LED light strip above there as well uh, and a trifold or a sliding glass door right there. Um, looking at the vanity here, we've got lots more counter space than you typically see in an RV, especially one this size. And then this mirror is a medicine cabinet as well from one side. Coming into the bedroom, you can see we come standard with a queen size bed. Um, one thing I don't want to forget is how cool these shades are in the Brinkley. So you've got a day shade and a night shade. Um, what they do is they just slide across for the blackout and these are insulated as well and then say you want the whole thing open you just grab the two shades and pull them apart right there. Um, this one is your emergency exit window so it does open fully but most of them will twist open about six inches or so. We got plenty of overhead storage and then on either side you got outlets uh, with USBs and USB-Cs as well as a 110 volt outlet. Plenty of room on the night tables to put your CPAP or whatever other devices you have with you. And then you have storage underneath the bed and then underneath each of the night tables as well. Uh, right across, you'll see we've got a 32 inch Insignia Smart TV. Um, and then you'll notice right here, we've got our second AC. There are two in this unit. Um, and both of those you can dump just directly into the room, cool that room down super quick, super efficient. Coming over here to the closet, you can see we've got plenty of storage in here for all the clothes you're gonna be bringing with you. And then you've got four drawers, open up all the way nice and big plenty of room inside there before we wrap up there's one more thing i want to point out i know it's just a little detail but i think it's the little details that really differentiate this unit notice this little magnet catch they put right here on the door that means if you accidentally leave your door open when you're driving you're just not going to be banging around the whole time it just keeps things keep things in good condition they really just care about the camping experience want to make things as good for you guys as they can all right thanks for joining us on the tour of the Brinkley Model Z 2900. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I really would encourage everybody to come check these things out. They're really cool. Something, something we've never really seen before in the RV industry. They're really putting the top of the line, everything all, all the way around. I mean, just take a look at it.